This might be one of the most fascinating personal electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft currently in development that I've seen. It is called the Aircar by Aircar Corporation based out of Istanbul, Turkey. The company envisions a prototype capable of a top speed of 130 km per hour or 75 miles per hour with a max range of 80 km or 50 miles with a two passenger and 220 kg or 485 pounds payload. D8 distributed motors providing redundancy combined with efficient and silent propellers. And check this out, the aircraft could be charged by 80% in only 15 minutes. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm intrigued. So let's take a closer look at Aircar. Since 2017, when Aircar was founded, the team at Aircar has been developing an eVTOL with proprietary technologies in hardware and software combined with a unique design. Searching for the best design for the intracity urban air transportation, the company adopted an iterative process. Throughout the years, over 1,000 flights of the subscale prototype were tested. Since the beginning of 2021, the company started to fly its full-scale model, started to test the autonomous software and establish partnerships to accelerate its progress in manufacturing, certification and technological developments. Aircar began to prepare for type certification process with the Federal Aviation Administration and European Union Aviation Safety Agency and envisions to certify its cargo aircraft in 2023 and begin commercial operations in 2024. The company has also began certification process for its passenger eVTOL targeting to be certified by 2026 and start commercial operations afterwards. Alright, now let's talk about architecture and specifications. The propulsion system. Aircar boasts eight distributed motors, providing redundancy with high torque density, combined with eight efficient and silent propellers. According to the company, quite enough to land in your neighborhood. At the end of this video, you can hear for yourself the sound profile of Aircar. Let me know in the comments below if you think it is quite enough to land in populated areas. Keep in mind that further improvements in sound quality are likely. Next is avionics. Aircar flight control system ensures stable and reliable flight envelope for aircraft stability and autopilot workload. Sensor fusion enables improved autopilot performance by feeding continuous data to AI system to optimize flight quality. Aircar's autonomous flight control system combines machine vision LiDAR, radar, and other sensory outputs and make a flight plan without the requirement of a ground control connection. Aerodynamics Since 2017, the company is developing a fuselage to find the perfect aerodynamics for aircar. After numerous iterations in design and fluid analysis, they are able to achieve low drag or efficiency with no downward force at full flight envelope. Aircar's design enables longer ranges with less energy consumption. Aircar's structure is made of aviation-grade composites to optimize weight and structural integrity for high efficiency and reliability. Now let's take a look at the battery pack. Aircar's battery is a 400 volts lithium-ion based distributed system providing redundancy and high charge-discharge performance. It has a high structural integrity made with a flame retardant material preventing thermal runaway. The battery pack delivers over 200 watts per kilogram and the integrated battery management system optimizes long life cycle. The best thing is that the batteries can be charged to 80% in only 15 minutes and the battery pack is easily changed out. The air car is optimized for two passengers with a total payload of 220 kilograms or 485 pounds, providing up to 80 kilometers or 50 miles range for a single charge. So yeah, with that payload limitation, you better be watching your weight if you hope to fly one of these EVTOLs.
Now let's take a look at the cabin. The inside of air car is very impressive. Passengers access all controls in three cinematic screens via voice command. The aircraft boasts comfortable seating for two adults with extra legroom and open view creating a sense of openness from every seat. The aircraft has a luggage trunk that is big enough to accommodate two passenger luggage, satisfying general commuting demands. It is all nice and well, but what about safety features, you might ask? The aircraft comes with a distributed electric propulsion providing safety through redundancy for its passengers and or cargo. If one or more motors or propellers fail, the other working motors and propellers can safely land the aircraft. As last resort, the aircraft comes with a whole aircraft ballistic parachute for use in emergency situations. The aircar sure does look impressive, and I hope that the company will get it to the market as per its timeline. At this point, it is unknown what the starting price of air car might be, but I think it is safe to say that it will not be cheap. For example, Jetson 1 Evitol aircraft, which is already available for order, starting at 92,000 US dollars per unit, but it is only a single passenger aircraft with a lesser range. If you have not seen my video covering Jetson 1, check it out. I'll link the video in the description. As always, I would like to hear from you. What do you think about Aircar? Its design, use cases, and how it compares to other personal eVTOLs? Leave your comments below. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe for more videos on disruptive innovation. And now, let me leave you with a video of Aircar's sound profile. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.